Hey guys, it's John, and welcome to my playthrough of The Dark Pictures, Little Hope. This came out on October 30th. Uh, I meant to upload it sooner than I did, but oh well. It's not a big deal. Uh, I'm excited to play it. I played the demo back in August. This is the second game in the Dark Pictures anthology. The first one was Man of Medan. If you haven't seen that, I'll leave a playlist in the description where you can see me play through that game as well. But yeah, this is from the Until Dawn developers, Supermassive Games. It's about the Salem Witch Trials, but with like a modern day spin. There's a connection with the past. It's all very interesting, and I'm excited to jump into it. So let's go ahead and play alone. Wah, wah, wah. Okay, we can play with a controller or a mouse. I'm gonna try controller and just see how it goes. Might not stick with it. Definitely won't if the mouse cursor is gonna be in the middle of the screen like that while I'm on controller. Can I move it? I'm gonna move it out of the way. Where you can't see it. This guy's so dead. He doesn't even know it. He was reading a book. Was he the only customer at this diner or does he own the diner? And he just drives a bus there for no reason. It looks like it's closed down. So I guess this is the owner of the diner maybe. This reminds me of the opening of Resident Evil 2 Remake. <laughs> the truck driver with the burger. I think this guy will meet the same fate. Uh oh. Oh, we're just gonna fast forward to the bus being run off the road? Oh no, he's coming up on a road blockage, okay. He's gonna have to take a detour. Thanks for pulling over. Sure, something wrong? We got a problem up ahead. A big accident. We've had to close the road. You're right. We're diverting all traffic through Little Hope. You okay, dun, dun, dun. Buddy? You seem a little confused. He doesn't want to go through Little Hope. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. This... I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. Is there anyone in the bus? Head up these roads. It's like. Takes you straight through Little Hope. Adds almost no time to your journey. He's like, sir, this is an empty bus. Is he like Charon? Is he uh, transporting souls to the next plane? What does he know about Little Hope? Oh no, there are people. You rub that chip any harder, it'll wear away to nothing. Right. How long have you been sober? He's shy of three months. Or is he having a flashback? I heard the first ninety days are the toughest and roughest. No, he's he's eavesdropping. Isn't that up? rude? I get something from holding on to this. Male passenger. Sounds it's fine. Just a quick detour. It's not fine. Calm down. He sounds like he's seen oh, please, some stuff. John, could you not patronize me? Can you keep it down, please? Classic horror story opening. Ghost on the road. It says bearing updated behind uh, the webcam.
Stop it, James. You know I hate it when you don't take the things I say seriously. Come on, sweetheart, I do. I just had a rough day today. Can you believe they are at each other again? I can. Who are you talking to? You're drunk. What a surprise. I just caught the game with the guys, honey. That's it. That's not it. Never is. There's talk. Some of us may be losing our jobs. The factory... You've been saying that for years. I'm more worried about Megan. What's wrong with Megan? She looks okay to me. Everything looks okay after 10 beers. Reverend Carson held her back after prayers today. That's four weeks running. She's not right. It's serious, James. You worry too much about that kid. I can't deal with this right now. Another surprise. You can't deal with anything. When would be the right time? You're making a mountain out of a molehill. Getting yourself worked up for nothing. For nothing? Single-handedly keeping our family together family. is far from nothing in my book. I could use a little help. Maybe if we'd had kids of our own, none of this would be happening. That's a real low blow. Don't you get how tough You're this is You're not the me? only one feels pressure. The factory situation is serious, Anne. Real serious. Not right now. <laughs> Steal my room. <gasps> Hey, you know, you, your kid probably heard that. Not oh, that, tonight. No way. <laughs> I love that picture. What what a choice to stick on the fridge for all to see. Tanya's late. She always is these days. Uh, I'm gonna be terse. Give her a break, dude. At least one of us is out having a good time. Give her a break. It's him I'm worried about. That guy's no good for her. All that new age bullshit. Reminds me of some creepy cult. So what decade is this supposed to be? <clears throat> he came in last week. We shot the breeze a little bit. I like him. That one's a classic. Legendary vinyl. Quit pawing at it, will you? <clears throat> This kid. TV zombie. Dan, I was watching that. Oh, she's not gonna say anything. She doesn't have the confidence. Hey, Bigfoot, mind the goddamn vinyl, will ya? Hey, don't be a dick. Come on, man, take some time off from being a dick and give her a break. Okay, Mother Superior. Why are you always sticking up for her anyway? I don't know, because she's our little sister. I presume. Number one dad? Oh, brother. I'm going to start climbing through the window unless that door gets fixed. How's things? Let me guess. He's been pumping iron again? They've been at each other's throats since dad got home. What's it about this time? Some dad we got. <laughs> Dad's been drinking. I think it's about Dad's drinking. We'll be resentful, I guess. Dad's been drinking. Who could have guessed it? They're always fighting these days. Getting predictable. Like a record that keeps playing over and over. Dennis, for the 10 millionth time, will you shift that shit of yours up into the attic? Hey, some respect. This is a valuable, rare, and sought-after collection. <laughs> My collection. <laughs> My parents don't understand me. I think she was a marine sergeant of past life. Okay, so there's four kids. It's crawled up his ass. And he's being a jerk. I'm annoyed at Dennis. He sucks. He's being even more annoying than usual tonight. A real jerk. So what else is new? Oh no, is Dennis gonna die when he goes up into the attic? Hey, Dennis. Hey! Not now, sis. I'm busy. Hey! <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, that's a precarious ladder. <gasps> hey! Quit acting crazy! What's gonna happen? Is the house gonna burn down? Are they all gonna die? A horrible fire. <laughs> oh. Jesus. You scared me, sweetheart. I heard you talking about me. 
Not now, Megan. Oh, she doesn't like that. I'd like to have a bath in peace. Take a break from this madhouse for a while. Then we're just talking about you. Oh, well, I guess they were specifically talking about you, huh? Where does that antique iron key go to? The basement? Does it go to the lock in the bathroom? Maybe you should talk to mom and dad. It's not a great idea for me to get involved. You know what I'm like? I just upset someone. They sounded more serious than the usual bullshit. They were talking about Megan. She's done something bad. I can't say I'm surprised. There's definitely something off with Megan. I don't get why everyone keeps picking on her. Okay, Mr. Shining Knight in Armor. Where's the little princess anyway? Oh, uh, go check on her. Maybe go check on her, Tanya. Tanya. Tanya is kind of a, an aggressive pronunciation of that. Speaking of aggressive, let's go. Megan's gone upstairs. How about you go check on her? Maybe you could go check on her if you don't have other plans. I'll go find her. Then he's doling out the sass to everyone. I guess it's because I'm playing him. By the way, if this actor looks familiar to you, it's because it's Will Poulter, who you may have seen as the Vape Lord in Midsummer. The other Vape Lord, I think, and Bandersnatch. It was also in Maze Runner. Uh, yeah, you get the idea. All right, let's pick something up. We are the Millers. Cool, it's a Matchbox. <laughs> I know what a Matchbox looks like. How did that happen? It was like a telekinetic match. That's amazing. Is he dead? Oh, he's asleep. Falling asleep watching the big game. Oh, button may change to Y. Okay. Don't change to Y. At least tell me. Change to Y now. Oh, it is. Okay. Oh, I aced that. Oh, we're taking that remote. Where am I? <clears throat> you need to keep an eye on your little sister. Mom is real worried about her. Tanya's checking on her, though. I'll be reassuring. It's okay, Dad. Tanya's checking on her right now. You want to try raising a family like this? No. The devil himself would struggle with you guys. Thanks. Raising the family. You want to try raising a family? Yeah, I'm dad. Dad, I'm 16. <laughs> How about you try being a father? Dad, I don't even have a driver's license yet. The New England Witch Trials. I can't wait to be a dad and say crap like that to my kids. How about you try it? <laughs> Where's my coloring book? How about you live in the real world, jackass? Perfect distraction. <laughs> You're like six years house. old. A must read for anyone with an interest in the Salem Witch Trials of 1692. Shroud of Innocence. T.S. Hartley. Very nice. Wow, you guys are really interested in the Salem Witch Trials, it seems. There may be hidden information. Okay, don't tease me. Is the hidden information that we have a tire swing with stars on it? There's no hidden information. Oh wait, what? What am I doing? Oh, these are like... This was like the menu. There's secrets, bearings, Pictures, yeah, you get it. Okay, well, I'm I'm good then. Are you asleep already? For crying out loud! The situation at the factory is real serious, and real serious. Are we opening this? Oh, it's locked. Well, there's nothing we can do about it. Maybe we can get that iron key from uh, Megan. Oh, this one is this one locked too? Doesn't matter. Check this out. 
the report card. Oh my god, number of days present. She's got a fairly good attendance record. Maybe? I mean, that's throughout the whole year, right? Seven days absent, that's not bad. Oh, but she was tardy 18 times. What the hell? What were you doing? Uh-oh. Wow. Look at all those Fs. Megan is in even more trouble than I thought. Look at all those Fs. She's got a couple Bs in reading. Any As? Music. She got an A. In music one time. <laughs> she got an E? I've never known anyone that got an E. There's, there's only one E grade on the entire... I didn't know they even gave out E's. I thought it just went from D to F. Yeah, look, the E's not even on the... Is that a hint of some kind? Feth. Is that the hint? Feth. It, that's what it spells out. Okay, I don't know. Anthony, where the hell are you? I'm exploring our Anthony, kitchen. Anthony, where are you, goddammit? Anthony, I'm getting really pissed off. I'm not done Anthony, looking at stuff. If you don't answer me. Well, did she lock you out? You could be right about my family. She's gonna burn it down. What'd I say? I said that. I think so too. Tanya! Who's that? What's going on? That little brat locked me out. It's fucking freezing! Oh no. I'll let you back in. Go easy on Megan. Hold on. Uh oh. The door's locked now. And Dad's asleep. Shit! Megan! Are you in there? Time to break the window, dude. Maybe not there, actually. Maybe leave the kitchen. The kitchen's on fire! And Are mom's you in the bath. Serious? Wow, look at that. It spread so fast. Megan? Dad? Dad? <laughs> oh, and he's up in the attic because the ladder got knocked out. Oh, no. This is some. Where the hell is everybody? Anthony! This is some carry shit happening right now. All the doors are locked. No! Help! Oh, Anthony! Hey! Up here! What Get the on the roof, dude. Up there? I got trapped in the attic. Get to the balcony! Anthony, help! Bust it open, dude. There's like a shovel right there. You're gonna have to break some glass, bro. Okay, good. He's got it. <laughs> oh. What was that? Oh, no. Oh, they're gonna suffocate from the smoke. Maybe you shouldn't have said all that stuff, Dad. She heard it, like I told you. Is she gonna be standing sinisterly in the fire? No, she's running around. Oh no. At least they didn't burn to death. They suffocated first. Do I save Megan or help Tanya? She can get down herself! Tanya, hold on! I gotta get Megan out! She's a little girl. Tanya, come on. You're a full-size person. Oh no. See, she's a victim, too. Even though she kind of comes across like an evil little vindictive brat. Don't go in the house! 
Jump down off the balcony. Am I missing something? Backdraft. This is why you don't want to be in there. Oh no, Tanya dies. What? It's not that far down. Just hang off the railing. I will not be held responsible for that. Oh, brother. <laughs> Everything went wrong. Anthony's lost everything, but he's still got the matches. He lit the fire. Mom, stop. Wait, I'm sorry, did the passerby ask him, what have you done just because he was holding some matches? Like, fuck off. Dude, the guy's family just died. I'm sorry he was, ho he happened to be holding some matches. He was like, what have you done? And then he was like, no wait, don't go in there. Kid, it's too late. Ah, uh, our good friends, the curator. There he is. Ready to lecture us on our choices. I'm excited. So yeah, The Dark Picture's Little Hope. I'm excited to check it out. Apparently there's more time periods than just the present and the far past like we saw in the demo. I also want to take this opportunity to say that if you have a problem with any of the choices that I make in this game, I want to tell you that I sincerely don't give a shit. Just so we're clear on that. Man, is this how he walks to work every day? Imagine walking down this long hallway with this blaring soundtrack. I'd, I'd start off every day with a smile too. Epic. Yeah, hi. Hello. And welcome. I don't believe that we've met before, have we? We have. No matter. We have actually. Welcome to my repository. I am the curator, the guardian of all these wonderful stories, and I have a very special tale for you to tell. Okay. I wonder if he was supposed to say, I'm playing this on a different computer than I played Man of Medan on. I wonder if there was supposed to be a little thing there like, welcome back. I see you've returned if it detects a Man of Medan save file. Disconcerting. No? Mm -hmm. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. This particular story isn't fully fleshed out. It's only part written, and the choices you make will complete it. Okay. The fire. No, there was nothing you could have done about that. I What's figured. happened has happened. Or has it? Anyway, look to the future, I say. I mean, I don't really Lights care what happened to the family. Shadow, eh? You are about to enter a confusing, perhaps disturbing world. How disturbing might depend on what you choose to believe and how confusing on the path you choose to take. Okay. There are an infinite number of directions in which one could travel. We seldom have all the information that we'd like, but we have to choose our path nonetheless and hope that we get the clarity and the outcomes that we want. As in life, your decisions will matter. The choices you make will affect others. You've seen how the story starts. So much death. How many more deaths is entirely up to you. It depends on the decisions that you make. What are you? Rational? Emotional? Do you trust your head? 
or your heart? All of the above. There is no right answer. Sometimes one is best and sometimes the other. My advice for what it's worth is to thine own self be true. That's good advice. I will do that. But uh, <laughs> I'm here simply to record what you do, not to help you. <clears throat> I'm not supposed to interfere, you see. Not my place, apparently. But I Who are you saying that about? Apparently, about Who are you bitter towards? Share wise words from great storytellers that have gone before where I feel that that would be appropriate. Oh, one final thing before I let you go. There are pictures in Little Hope that will, if found, show you a vision of a possible future, something that may or may not happen. Use them. They might help you. You have a funeral to attend. Off you go. Have fun. Wait, what funeral? Hmm. What, am I still playing as Anthony? Is Anthony Andrew's dad? Andrew's from the demo, sorry. I'm trying not to get ahead of myself. You don't need to have seen the demo. In fact, it's better if you haven't, actually. Because we'll be playing the demo section later. Sorry, I'll shut up. So I guess we're playing as Anthony, then. None of us here today can understand why this tragic accident happened. But we can take comfort from the knowledge that the family are together for eternity in God's loving embrace. Oh yeah, Tanya's boyfriend, he's sad. There's a storm coming. It's the calm before the storm. Okay, now we're present day. Okay, this is Andrew, 18. College student. Anxious, detached. So he's a freshman, college freshman. What's happening right now? Taylor, 22, college student, headstrong, sensitive. John, 43, college professor, rational and overbearing. Where the hell's Daniel? I can't find him. I don't know. Bus crash, so another bus crash. Ah! Instead of goofing around, you wanna lend a hand here? Oh wait, no, sorry, no, this is the same, bu blah, blah, same bus crash from the beginning. We just jumped around a little bit. Okay, what did you say? How's he doing? Let's be compassionate. How is he doing anyway? It doesn't look that serious. Could be concussed. Okay, Professor. Or should I call you doctor now? Why don't you try calling for help? <coughs> Maybe the cops, someone like that. Okay, hang on a second. I just realized my face cam's kind of blocking things. We'll fix that. Okay, I moved it down a little bit. Maybe that'll help. Uh, I, I can't remember what he asked me. But it's John. I don't like him. Sarcastic. Damn, I'd never have thought of that. Ugh, call for help, sure thing, professor. Oh, I'm still blocking I it. You're here. I'm still blocking it. Okay, I'm over here now. We'll see if this is better. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, Andrew, buddy, how you doing? Where are we? What happened? Yeah, the bus crashed. We're okay though. Just shaken up. If you say so. I don't remember being in any crash. You're, you're probably in shock. Maybe a mild concussion in there, too. Give yourself some time. Stay here. Don't move. <clears throat> okay, so where's everybody else from the bus? Bus driver, he's gone. <sighs> Fucking thing, useless piece of crap. May as well be dead. Okay, take the phone, it easy. right? We'll figure out what to do. The phone may as well be dead. Wow, he got flung. Uh, 
He got flung to the other side. Daniel, 20, college student. Amiable, Fuck. defensive. Where's my phone? Oh, he's like down the ditch. Oh, he's got a flashlight though. Angela, 48, mature student, abrasive, understanding. Huh. I thought she was a professor hey, or something. Anyone up there? Okay, so hey, she's just gone back Daniel, to school at, a, at an older age. Good to hear you. Daniel? Taylor, you okay? I'm good. We're fine too, thanks for asking. You okay down there? I'm all right, nothing I can't deal with. Hey, John, any idea what caused the crash? Not sure. Looked like the driver swerved to avoid something in the road. He down there, by the way? No. Nope, no, no sign of him. Weird, he isn't up here either. Can you get back up to us? Looks pretty steep. I see a trail down here I could try. Great. Take the trail. Should take you to the road. We can regroup there. That's a plan. See you soon. <coughs> okay, we're splitting up. Hey, Taylor. Help me get Andrew up on his feet, will ya? So this game has... Wait. I don't remember anything. Wh who are you? Oh, it's wow. okay. You're concussed. I'm John. You're a college professor. <coughs> we were taking a bus on a field trip, but that didn't work out so well. Crash wasn't on the curriculum. <laughs> uh, we'll find the others, get some help. Think of it as a character building exercise. Oh, okay. <sighs> that was a crazy QTE. Teamwork at its finest. I had this dream. It was so real. Flames all around us. It was grim. That bang on the head must have been a beauty. That trail the others are on will come out down the road. We'll meet them there. Uh, why leave the bus? I'm staying here. Um, why would I stay here? Well, why leave the bus? We should talk this through. Why leave the bus? Not like we have somewhere better to wait. No, we could be here all night. Our best move is to get to the others, then head towards town. See if we can find some help. Where's the driver? Shouldn't he be back by now? The driver's done what we should be doing. Gone into town for help. We don't know where he went. He could just as easily have banged his head and walked off the other way. Oh no. Fine. You can stay right here. I'll go myself. Well, oh no, my relationship hey, with John professor. went down. He is a professor, right? I'm still fuzzy. Can we stick together? I don't want to wait on my own. I guess he's right. We should all stick together. I got no signal either. Must be some kind of black spot. Or you didn't pay your last bill. You get that during the crash? Ugh, guess so. Ooh. That looks like a... Looks like a rope burn or something. What crawled up the professor's huh. ass? Looks kind of like I a scar. He... Oh, sorry. Wrong way. More respect. He Ooh. thinks he's smarter than us, but book Show smart is no good respect. out here. He's all up himself, acting like the big man on campus. Well, you got anything to say about that, Andrew? Oh. My bad. Let's look at the rusty can. Huh? Why are you looking at the rusty cans? Is there oh, you're skulls? Me. Now what? Looks like something out of a creepy horror movie. Yeah, there's skulls Actually, and there's a little right. thing. I've seen stuff like this in books. It's there to ward off evil spirits. Jesus, this really is a night full of nightmares. A night full of nightmares. Uh, succinctly stated, let's go. You know where you are? You in Silent Hill, son! This looks like the Silent Hill sign. Except it says, Little Hope. Welcome to, unreadable, Abandon Hope. <gasps> they crossed out Little and they put Abandon. You know this place? Little Hope? No. I mean, I don't think so. You should both know Little Hope. <laughs> Uninterested. So how do I get out of here? 
Why should I? Why should I have heard of this place? Seriously, this place is steeped in history. Fascinating stuff. How do you know all this stuff anyway? I'm not going to say I could care less. I'm a less. professional academic. I read books, unlike some. <laughs> hey. Easy, Einstein. I can match everything you got with just a smartphone. Well, your phone isn't so smart without a signal. Uh, fair point, fair point. So what's this? Can we check this out? Something over here. You okay, bro? Good to see you too. Finally. Everything okay? Sure. We took the scenic route. You sure as hell took your own sweet time. I was getting worried. I bet you were. This What's gate that supposed is to mean? We can't get through. Look around. See if there's anything we can use to break it. Think this'll do it? Yeah, like that. Ready? I'll push hard from my side. Ready. Three, two, one, push. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's easy. what I'm talking about. Great job, you two. <laughs> I was like gritting my teeth like, okay. And then it ended. What's the plan now? So it was really easy. I already said I want to wait at the bus for help, not head into town like John wants. And we've already concluded this conversation. Not with everyone here we didn't. We should vote on it. No need for a vote. Decisions made. Wow. Just because you're a professor, you don't get to call the shots. We're all adults here. Some of us are more adult than others. I'm sorry, but we really don't have time to be arguing. You'll stay here with me, won't you? Uh. Looks like he ain't so keen after all. What? If you got something to say to me, spit it out. Yes. John's right. Heading into town is our quickest way to find help. Satisfied? Sure. Whatever you say. Yeah, she just Try doesn't like civil. her. Cost nothing. That's rich, given how you badmouth Taylor on the way over. What did she say about me? You always get your Gossip. boyfriend to stick up for you? <gasps> Try doing it yourself sometime, dear. Whoa. Surprise. He's not my boyfriend. I'm not wasting my breath on you. Let's go. I'm not wasting another breath on you. Quit it, will you? The last thing we need is you causing trouble. Keep out of our business, okay? <laughs> we are wasting valuable time here. Can we please just keep moving? <laughs> I'm still I love not it. sure heading into town is such a great idea. I'm going to hang out by the bus while you all do whatever you have to. You want to come along and wait with me? Okay. Hmm. I still think the smart move is for us all to stick together. You'll be glad we didn't stick together after we flagged down a car and come rescue your ass. Okay. Bye. See you guys later. You get lost? No. We're back here? This doesn't add up. This is some very weird shit going Did on. Did y'all just go straight? Spare us all. First he loses his pride, then he loses his way. Ooh, what are you trying to say? What a boomer burn. That you've lost it. It's not possible. <laughs> Whoa! I don't know what you're trying to prove here, but we've got better things to do. Daniel? Like, I like how oh, hey, you ran off. Out. Quit fucking around and tell me what's going on here. The two of us will go together. This is getting ridiculous. Indulge me. They're just going to go straight, but then they end up back where they started. Have them do it. Have them go forward. What? What? I walked away from you. We're trapped here. There's no way out. I, I don't understand. She's right. We walked dead straight going away from you. So how'd we end up back here? John's gonna have to do it himself. Okay, let's try something. We'll all go together. We came from that direction. We must be able to go back that way. I want everyone to stay real close. No stragglers. 
You want to put us on a kid's line? Okay, okay, I'm coming. Angela, now's not the time for your quips. Oh my god. I like how Daniel looked all tough, like, Yeah, so what's going on, huh? <laughs> there at the end. That was pretty funny. What a cast of characters. I admit, that is a little odd. A little odd? More than a little. Yeah. See? What did I tell you? It's just like I've been saying, we are trapped! We can't leave here! Now okay. what do we do? Okay, calm down, breathe. There's a rational explanation for what's happening. Maybe we all died in the crash. Yeah, nice theory, but I'm pretty sure we're all still alive and kicking. Last I checked, you were schooling us on creative writing, not metaphysics. I know who I'd like to be kicking. This is all down to you, this pissy little field trip. Now we're stuck here in little no hope. That is way out of line. I had no way of knowing that damn bus would crash. You can't put that on me. Are you for fucking real? Watch your tone, will you? I am doing my best to understand this, just like you and the rest of us. Okay, you know what? I think we need to bring it down a little bit. I'm enjoying the drama, but let's try to defuse the situation. Sorry. I don't get what's happening to us. I don't understand. It's like you said, we're trapped in a nightmare. It's okay. We're gonna be just fine. We'll figure a way out of this together. Someone else thinks they can do a better job? <laughs> no. Step right up. I just apologize. Maybe it isn't real. We have to get out of here right now. I need to think straight. Now. Why the fuck? Can everyone just shut up? Ooh, Andrew, I'm on your side. This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. He's right. Bitching at each other isn't getting us anywhere. We have to work together as a team. Thank you. Now let's be logical. The fog is between us and the bus. There is no fog between us and town, so let's head that way. I don't get how heading further away from the bus helps. Well, there's there no other option. There is nothing on this... the bus we can use to get help. There's... In town, there will be people, a working phone, something. It pains me to admit, but he's right. There's nowhere else we can go except into that damn town. Sounds like a plan to me. You leaving me? Where are you going? Come on, let's go with them. Until we know what's up, we should stick together. Yeah, what's with that? How'd you get that bruise? <sighs> no biggie. Must have got it when the bus crashed. Yeah, were you hanged by the bus? By the way, what's in here? Actually, you know what? This seems like a great way to die early. So maybe I shouldn't do that. Okay, I'm just gonna... <laughs> I want to explore and like get collectibles and stuff, but... Why did you say we might all be dead? You really think... Oh, sorry. It's Left fun. button. I saw some cable show about how your brain keeps going for a while after you... Yep. You know. You die? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forget it about it. Shows you what whatever it thinks will make you happy, bad. though. And this isn't making us happy. <gasps> Black cat. Unlucky. Wait. Where's the black cat? Huh. Cat's not around here anymore. I don't think. Whatever. I don't like the look of that place at all. Let's go inside. Maybe they won't ask for ID. Ha ha ha. Let's go inside. Angela, why are you just standing in the middle of the road? You want to get hit I'm by a car? I'm not sure this is such a great idea. We should check it out. There could be a phone inside. I'll go in and take a look around. Go ahead. We'll be right behind you. He needs to have a talk with me first. Why aren't we going with those guys? Angela knows there's something between us. That's obvious. We're really going to get into this now? Like we've got no other bigger shit to deal with tonight? This is a big deal. For me, anyhow. I'm telling you, Angela is onto us. She knows. About what? Is she your mom? I don't get it. Why what is that a big deal? Talk about? Why does that matter? She was digging around like she always does. Is she your mom? She's your mom. What exactly did you tell her back there? Relax. I said nothing about us. 
Okay. I'm not ready to go public about us yet. I will be soon. Why is it a big deal? What's the... Anything I can do to help convince you I'm the right guy? I need to know 100% I can rely on you. That you'll never let me down. We should catch up with the others. I... We standing here all night or we going inside? You're always going to let someone down at some point. You can't be 100% foolproof, mistake-free, perfect human, okay? I don't like that promising I'm never going to let you down. Never going to give you up. Oh. Never going to let you down. Yeah, I'm not promising that. Oh, hey, another person. He's the mysterious local. It's going to be like... You don't want to go into Little Hope. Folks around here, they stay away from that ghost town. Hi there. You folks lost? How you, doing? you must be if you're in Little Hope. Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. What is? Uh oh. What's up with the fog outside? It's pretty weird. Yeah, it sure is a thick one tonight. So thick it's stopping us from leaving. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know that feeling. You mean you're trapped uh, Sorry too? for busting in like this. Uh, bus we were on crashed a little way back up the road there. We're still a little shaken up. We're still a lot shaken up. You certainly look shook up. I'm Vince. I need a mirror. Maybe there's one here not covered in 20 years of- Sounds like you could use a drink. <laughs> he like cuts Better. her off. Thanks. I need to keep a clear head. Yeah, and also you're 18. <clears throat> it's right there if you change your mind. In the US, that's not legal drinking age. I know other places it's 18, but here it's 21. Um, although, you know what? After a bus crash, I think I'd take one anyway. Not for me, though. Not for me. Yeah, because we know Why are that you even here. Little Hope sure isn't the town it used to be. Um what are you doing in here? Um don't be suspicious. Just be like what happened here? What happened here? The place seems completely deserted. Little Hope feels a little like a ghost town. And that fog? Life moves on, you know. But we don't all go with it. So why, yeah, why are you still here, though? I'm not gonna ask about a phone. We know why there's not a phone. Here? Yeah, if the place is as dead as you say, what are you still doing here? I come and go. You know how it is. Huh? No, anyway, I don't. I can't help you. I don't know how it is. What is this guy's problem? I'm asking you how it is. There's definitely something off about him. <laughs> uh, he's harmless. Just had one too many. Let's look around. You guys must have be something here that can help us. You had that conversation literally. See what you can dig up. Four feet from him. Uh, he's in a world of his own. An old darts board. I was pretty good back in the day. Oh, Stay. Brother. Play a little, no problem. I'm gonna take a look around. Pretty good at darts. Don't make me play darts. You need an umbilical cord. <clears throat> Fine. At least I'm looking for a way out. What are you? Just doing? a quick throw, and then we'll figure out how we're getting out of here. Try for a big double. Not or... my first time, Daniel. Shooting for double twenty. What am I doing? Okay, so you can play a little. Still got it. I mean, that was really easy. Now for triple 20. Triple 20, okay. I got it. Well, almost an Olympic shot after the night we've had. They don't play darts in the Olympics. <laughs> that is one <laughs> hell of a shot. Okay, I got all three. I don't know if that you did does better anything. than Taylor. Let's get back to why we came in here. Why is the mouse up there? Did better than Taylor. Did she play darts too just now? 
my traits were updated. What? How? How are they? Apparently, I've got dismissive as a trait locked. I wonder why. Irritable. Yeah, no shit. Okay. Talk to Vince. Search the bar. Hey guys, how's it hanging? Didn't you, you did you say you were gonna go look around, Taylor? What happened to that? Okay, what is this? Meeting votes for disincorporation. New round of foreclosure spells end I for town. What happened here? All the factories closed down. The last residents of the town met with emergency manager Kathy Flint to vote for disincorporation. Since the closure of the Ravenden Textiles factory, a mass exodus has left the town with few inhabitants and empty coffers. So you remember in the introductory scene, um, the dad was talking about the situation at the factory. It's serious. Real serious, Anne. I wonder if this is what he was talking about. Flint was appointed as emergency manager to administer public services to the remaining residents, but the latest round of bank foreclosures means the lack, uh, last of the townsfolk are planning to pack up and move on, which will leave Little Help virtually deserted. With no tax revenue coming in, we're faced with no option but to disincorporate, said Flint. It's so sad. These people have seen their town disappear around them. Attempts to, and apparently the rest of it is just not that important. So we know what happened, so everything closed down. It's a classic ghost town story. It's like mining towns. A lot of ghost towns are just former mining towns, and the mine shuts down and the whole town goes away. Like there's nothing there's no point to it after that. I can't believe it. These guys could be relatives. Oh yeah. Look at all of them. It's me, Daniel, and Andrew, but past lives, 1917. Huh. Okay, and then we got a thing right here. Let's check this out. L S R T. Huh, bunch of numbers here. This place has some great history. Are your children interested in astrology, spirits, or ghosts? Reverend Carson will advise parents on signs to watch for and how these things are the left hand path to delinquency and Satanism. Ah. The beginnings of satanic panic, huh? Something that still, like, uh, kind of clung on into the 90s and everything. I grew up in the church, I remember. I remember all that. I remember the... Well, it even continued into, like, when Harry Potter started getting popular. I would say. But I remember there was a lot of uh, paranoia about, like, Pokemon, of all things. Even that late. I think just because it came from... Fuck. Came from a country other than America. Is anyone watching this while in line to vote, by the way? I just figured... <laughs> Today's election day is why I'm uploading this, so I figured I would ask. Okay, um, yeah, it's been fun, but I guess we talked to Vince now. I think I've found everything I can. Are you just leaving? Got anything else for us on Little Help? Uh, booze gone in my head. Um, you okay? You okay? I'm sure it's just one too many. We both had better days. Lay off the drink. Frustrating. Can you help us or not? Anything you can do to help us would be greatly appreciated. <laughs> There's no goddamn us. Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't know what that means. So just is this was that basically just a fuck off then? Okay. Well, you said that you come and go. How do you do that? Do we just go now? Hey, this way. Let's get out of here and... You all hear that? I definitely heard something. Mm. Did you hear that as well? Come on. 
whatever he's not it was, gonna help he's not gonna be helpful I really think it's smart to go back outside. Well, there's nothing for us here we need to move on Best of luck. Hope you find what you're looking for. We've told you what we're looking for. Okay. Alright. The Black Cat Bar. Hmm. We saw a black cat earlier. It's coming Bad from luck. Did the old fucker just lock us out? He was weird, that old guy. Sure was something off about him. I come to Creepy Central just to get a top up. What does that mean? <laughs> it means a drink. Oh, are we, gonna, are we gonna talk with Angela now? Hi. I wonder how Andrew and Angela get along. We haven't really seen them interact at all. I wonder what Andrew Angela's I have a bad feeling about this. relationship with Daniel is. We'll figure it out. The way this fog just appears. It's not natural. I mean you're right. Where are you going? Oh, there's a thing here. What is this? Yeah, it's one of these things again. Blair Witch thing, man. So that's a that's a circle with an X through it. I wonder if I need to be keeping track of this, actually. I wonder if that's something that I'm supposed to, like, remember. What the hell is this thing? Looks pretty similar to the one Taylor saw by the bus. John said they're to ward off evil spirits. Where would he get an idea like that? I don't know. He's a professor. You must read a lot. I have to admit, I'm curious about what it means. I've heard more than enough, thank you. Who's that in the background? Mm, let's be apologetic. I'm sorry, I, I didn't scare you, did I? I don't know which is scarier. Whatever this is, or your morbid interest in it. Okay. A lot of people still really believe in this kind of stuff. After tonight, I thought you might be joining them. Just because other people believe all sorts of garbage doesn't mean I'm about to. Okay, how do you explain that fog? Yeah. I don't agree at all, but we'll just have to leave it at that. Oh, it went down. Let's uh, catch up with the rest. I don't want to spend any more time with this disgusting thing. Okay. Disgusting. It's just a bundle of like twine and Can twigs you make and an shit. To keep up? What am I? Ooh, ooh, that's a tough. Okay, that's tough to. <laughs> okay, all right. I I knew it was coming. I was like, this is the perfect camera angle to see some feet. It's that kid again, man. Hey, can you come over here? What's wrong? I just saw someone in the woods. I can't see anyone. I definitely saw someone. I definitely saw someone. 100%. Sorry, I don't buy it. Nobody would be out here at this ungodly hour. We're out here? All right, let's find someone. Let's find the others. Okay. We really should catch up with the others. You two. We need to stick close. What the hell? Did you hear that? We need to... What earth is that? Oh, I thought nobody could be out here at this ungodly hour. Okay, very good. We're freaked. Who's there? Whoever you are, this isn't funny at all. John, where are you? Daniel? Taylor? Come on, John, where are you? This isn't funny.
Hmm. Well, let's just go ahead. Okay, I gotta stay close to Angela. Wouldn't want her to die. Hey, wait for us. She died in the demo. It was very satisfying. What is that? Okay, what about this? I'll pick this up. Hey. Come and check this out. What on earth is that? Not a clue. Is it like a little voodoo doll? Yeah. Turn it. <gasps> That's cool. I think if you get the collector's edition, uh, you get like a physical version of this. Pretty neat. Okay, so now we're gonna... What is your name, sir? Glimpse into the past. I'll be polite. She's being polite so far. Um, Andrew? Andrew? And your name, lady? Who the hell are you? Why are you dressed like that? I am called Mary. I fashioned her with my own hand. Yeah, Mary's she a little looks smug. just like the one beside you. Would you kindly come play with me? Come That's play. playing, huh? Come play what with me. What witch's trickery is this now, Mary? I have done nothing. Hold your tongue. I say you truly are, Mary. Mary. Reverend Carver's affection for you will be shaken loose when he learns of your infidelity with the devil. Oh, Amy. There's someone else out here. By the fire. What? I, I don't see any fire. <laughs> Y'all look stupid. I saw them too. Are you okay? Um. How can you not have seen that? I couldn't see anything through this impossible, impenetrable fog. Oh, John didn't like that. Well, go my, ahead. My Tell him what relationship we saw. with him went down. A little girl appeared out of the fog and then just like that she was gone again what is going on maybe the fog has got you confused we're all stressed out stressed my ass i saw a girl dancing right here clear as day I said her name was mary looked exactly like the girl in my dream but she talked in this really weird accent was that even american i'm not sure i couldn't place her accent either what have we gotten ourselves into this kid, Mary, did she want to hurt you? Huh. He's got like a mark on his arm now. From where from where she touched him. Did she grab Taylor on the neck then? Uh, she meant no harm. No. I don't think she meant to hurt me. Now what? Seems our only option is the road into town. You're kidding me. Got a better idea? Thought not. I mean, we know a little bit more about that girl than what Andrew does right now, but I made my choice there based on what we just saw and what he just experienced and what he might be thinking right now. Oh, here's my here's our first stern lecture on the choices that we're making. Well, that escalated rather quickly. Everything that one does or doesn't do in one's life will catch up with one eventually. Thank you. Don't you think? Sure. What does that mean? Don't look at me. I can't help you. Remember? Okay. We sometimes There's nothing in that congratulate glass. ourselves on waking from a troubled dream. It may be so the moment after death. On my travels over many years, I've witnessed many things, seen and heard many beliefs, and there's usually some element of truth in each of them. 
Okay. These unfortunate folk seem to be dealing with forces as yet unexplained. I mean, sinister movements in the forest, spirits from the past, a little girl who may be in trouble. Hmm. Or maybe she simply is trouble. Yeah, that's the big question, isn't it? Anyway, where are we? Angela isn't getting much tittle-tattle out of Taylor. <laughs> no kiss and tell. What about John? The figure of authority, perhaps. Or perhaps he represents something else. Hmm. And then there's Andrew. Somewhat confused, I think. A bump to the head can do that. Let me reassure you. You helped make some decisions that will be valued later on. And some that may turn out to be regrettable. Mm. That fellow in the bar, he was less than helpful, more than a little rude, if you ask me. Uh huh. Clearly something disturbing on his mind. I couldn't get it out of him. Enough. There's something not quite right in Little Hope, and souls may be in peril. Off you go again. See if you can lift the fog. Find the bus driver. I'll do that next time, curator. Um, yeah, I think this is a good spot to end the first video. Hope you guys are enjoying Little Hope so far. Uh, we're mainly, we mainly just did like a little introduction there. Didn't see a whole lot of action until the end. But um, yeah, we're setting up the characters, setting up the story, and I'm enjoying it so far. I like it. So yeah, I'm gonna make a Little Hope playlist and I'll put that in the description. You can use that to catch up on new videos uh, as they come out, or you can just subscribe too. That's probably way easier. I'll see you guys in the next video. Incredibly.